Hey, and welcome to Trains Are Fun. In this video, we're going to be looking at another Thomas and Friends <coughs> set that I got in that Craigslist find. This is the James Cele Celebrates Sodor Day from, what is this, 2009? What did I say this was from? Yeah, 2009, set 5547. And it's 34 pieces. And I have the box here. So we're going to open this up and look at it. Um, I did go to a train show in Kennesaw, Georgia, the Train Train Trains event that they have every January there. So I'll be doing some videos featuring that coming up very soon. Here is our instruction manual. I'm going to put these in a protective uh, plastic thing that I use for like comic books and stuff just to make sure it doesn't get any worse shape than this. Let's see, did they build James correctly? I think they did. Wow, this is almost like new, like that Thomas we got a minute ago, or in the other video, <laughs> a minute ago. <laughs> but James is in very good condition. Get my finger out of there. I'll take a thumbnail picture. How about that? James celebrates Sodor Day. So I'm going to do like I did with the other Thomas set back there in the background. I'm going to build it up real quick. This won't take long. Not a lot of pieces to it. Um, yeah, not a lot of pieces at all. So, we went to the train show. So, I said I will be doing some videos with that. We got a lot of footage to film. There's Lego trains, which I'll probably cover most of the Lego stuff on my Lego channel, Brickzar. Uh, we got a lot of video that I can... Put. I don't know if it's just going to be one video or maybe I'll do multiple videos. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. Just got all that footage and got to figure out. Oh, hit they had already assembled part of that right there. <laughs> so I so saw N scale trains, G scale trains, O scale, H O scale, just all kinds of trains. That's why they call it trains, trains, trains. Ended up spending about an hour talking to the Lego guys there at the show. And we are done building this, thanks to them already having built most of it. There is no coal on James's thing here. James is running low on coal. So apparently this set did not come with the coal load for James. You, some of the sets, there'll be a 2x2 two two black brick right there. I don't see it on the box. Yeah. And I'm looking at this inventory for the set, which they put on the side of the box there. And there is no coal. The 2x2 two two black piece. So this is all you get. The box makes it look like you're getting so much more. Uh, but yeah, this is all it is. There's no track. There's Sir Topham Hat and James. A station. A flower, which is always important for Sodor Day. I guess the most important thing is the platform he's standing on. I don't know what this is. <laughs> but there you go. That's Sodor Day for you. So really not a lot to this set. And it's only 34 pieces. The Thomas Starter set we did was 82. And obviously that's the one I would recommend getting uh, if you're looking for an old discontinued set. Of course, all the Thomas and Friends with Lego is discontinued, obviously, since Mattel has the license now. I just think the uh, th um, the Duplo stuff, to me, is superior. Uh, would you like me to do a comparison to the uh, Mega Block stuff? So, I'm going to compare the two different styles of the Mega Blocks trains to the Lego trains. I need to get Thomas over here. All right, so t Lego didn't make as many sets as Mega Bloks. Mega Bloks made a ton of sets, and most of them were this size, which is compatible with your your wooden railway. It's compatible with your Trackmaster. These will fit on Trackmaster track. It's the same width of the wheel. So that's I think why Mega Bloks made this style is to be compatible. The Lego stuff is not compatible, uh, but it's very small. And I always thought. It odd that they made something so small for kids when you can actually take this stuff apart. Now, some of the older ones actually had more parts. This one is one of the, the last ones they did. It's only got the three parts to Thomas. I think there were some that had five parts. But you see the size difference there. And we'll get James. I got James here. 
Here is the uh, Mega Blocks James. This seems like it'd break real easy. Um, so it's a lot smaller scale than uh, the Lego. But they don't make these anymore. They don't make these little ones anymore. The new ones they got now are like this, which are a little bit bigger, actually. Get out of my way. So these are actually, yeah, these are actually bigger uh, than the Lego versions there, as you can see. Again, this is more for the toddlers. Very safe. Uh, I understand that. And I don't have a problem with them making this. I just wish they made something that's not just for the really little kids. I wish they made something that was brick built. Um, no. Oh, I guess I should have. There is one brick built, Thomas. Get out of my way. So that's the big Duplo brick built. It's not Duplo, it's Mega Blocks, but it's the compatible with Duplo. So that is the great big Thomas. <laughs> so there's actually three styles of buildable figure. And there's actually another one that I don't have that's a really big thing. Actually, there is a there is one that I do have. I don't know where it is. But then there's two other larger ones that have Thomas's face on it. <laughs> I don't have those. Oh, and I forgot to bring the Mega Blocks James, which is this style. So these are your three styles of James from Mega Blocks, Lego, and then the other Mega Blocks. So I just think this is better. I think this is the best. I mean, it's actually got the gold dome. Look at that. This here is just yellow. Um, got the printing on the side. I think is more detailed. This one's pretty good. Uh, these these are comparable. The tender is probably better, better scale than that. I don't know why the wheels are different colors. Oh, you know what? Ah, there was a mistake on the previous one. Look, I found a mistake. You see the difference? These are supposed to be James's wheels. So I don't know if anybody caught that in the last video, but. This is how that's supposed to go. Uh-oh. Does it matter which side's the front and which side's the back? I guess not. There we go. So we got that. That mistake is fixed. Oh, I don't know if anybody noticed that in the previous video, but James has the dark gray wheels in the Lego version. I wish they had the black wheels. I think that would have been better for James. Uh, so anyway, that's the comparison um, of the different brick-built systems from Duplo, Lego, and um, Mega Brands, Mega Blocks, Mega Constructs, whatever. So I would love for Lego to get the license back, or if Mega Brands, Mega Constructs keeps it, I would love to see them do more with it, make some Lego contemporary builds that are for ages 6 or 7 and up. Um, but, you know, the, I think the primary market for Thomas & Friends merchandise is... Uh, the much younger children, which is sad because you got a lot of people uh, that love Thomas up into adulthood and beyond. I mean, just look at ones like Leo Kim. <laughs> I sometimes think I sometimes think Leo is more into Thomas than his his own son, which is that's fine because I'm pretty much more into it now than than my son is. Uh, he still appreciates it, but I'm the one that's down here looking at it right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Now, I, I would like to know, if you've watched this video this long, are you an adult fan of Thomas or, or a te teenager that is still not ashamed uh, to like Thomas and Friends? Let me know in the comments below. I would like to know. I know I did a survey a while back to try to see what the age of the, of the audience is. As Charlie is getting into something behind me. Charlie, what are you doing? <laughs> it's the cat. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments uh, what you think. What <laughs> Thomas looks a little smushed in there, doesn't he? <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I just thought I'd show you this. I want to thank everybody for watching. I am working on getting all of the Lego sets boxes. I have all the Lego sets. I just don't have all of the boxes. So I'm looking for Percy. There's two Percy sets I need the boxes for. And I probably should go through my box collection to see if I got it somewhere. Uh, but I need the two Percy sets. I need Cranky and I need Harold for sure. I think those are the ones, the main ones I'm missing. There may be another one. I uh, just got to uh, looking at getting all the boxes for the Lego Duplo sets. But hope you enjoyed this comparison in this video. 
I do recommend the Lego Duplo uh, if you find it at a Goodwill or at an estate sale or at a yard sale. It's a very safe, durable product, the Lego Duplo is, and the Mega Blocks is very neat. I don't, I just don't know if I could recommend it for the very small children, this style. Uh, this is for the small children, and yeah, I'd rec, but Duplo, a great product. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you can. Leave a comment below why you still can, and we'll see you in the next video. Trains are fun. What'd you do, Charlie? What'd you get into? What'd you find? Oh, you got Steven Spielberg. Oh no. Charlie, what did you do that for?